Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm looking at Ayush paper. Now I did a first impressions uh, on box, unboxing of these notebooks and did a little writing sample here in the little one. Um, today I'm looking at it in just a little bit more depth. Uh, sort of, uh, I'm mainly going to focus on the A5 here because that's what I've done the writing tests in. But they all use the same paper and I'll just give you a quick rundown of uh, what we have here. So we will start with the A5 here. The A5 this is the, the A5 wire bound notebook. Actually, if I open it up, first I'll show you the front. So we've got your fountain pen will love this paper, an Irish paper with a little logo on the front there. It's a glossy cover, as you can see from the reflection of my uh, LED lights there. Um, it's got a bit of texture printed into it, but it is very glossy. It's a cardboard cover, same on the back, a little QR code there and all those kinds of things. Ruled 100 GSM, made in India. So yes, Irish paper, an Indian company uh, making really affordable, really good quality uh, fountain pen friendly notepads here. A lot of those things are wire bound. They've got a large range of things. These, The three I have are obviously, yeah, the wire bound. So let's have a look at this then. So what does what do we have to say? So Irish paper, A5 wire bound, and this is uh, retails for 180 uh, Indian rupee, which uh, is roughly $4 Australian or $3 USD. That is like excluding taxes and shipping and all of that kind of stuff. So pretty good prices. Um, the, things like shipping and things may be a little bit restrictive depending on where you are in the world and the cost of that, but the actual cost of the item I think is really, really good value. So you get 50 pages of 100 GSM uh, paper. Now, that's 50 sheets, uh, I suppose I should say. Because the quality of this paper, front and back, using both front and back, is absolutely doable. I think it's really great. You'll see the quality of uh, you know how this paper performs when I show you the back of this. Um, a couple other features, obviously we've got rounded edges on the page here. It's perforated, uh, which I'm, I'll show you how that tears out in just a second. Um, the A4 version here is not rounded. It's just the square corners there, which I also kind of like. It's a little bit, I think A4 is probably just a little bit more professional uh, in you know, in the size and what it can be used for and things like that. Um, so this is the ruled version. The other two versions I have, both the Pocket and the A4, are the dot, uh, which is a simple five millimeter dot rule. Um, the A4 version uh, retails for 360 Indian rupee, which is $7 Australian or $5 US. Uh, and this pocket version, which is kind of like field note size, which is three and a half by five and a half inches, uh, once again, dot grid, retails for 95 uh, Indian rupee, which is about $3 Australian or $2 US. Um, those are very rough prices, depending on sort of when you get the conversion and all those kinds of things, but it gives you an idea. Um, one thing I will say straight up is that before I talk about the quality of the paper, I want to talk about the quality of the presentation and how these uh, notepads you know, are presented. I'll, I'll, I'll overlay a very quick section from the unboxing here to show you sort of how they were um, packaged. And the packaging is like this waxy kind of uh, very noisy paper, uh, sort of tracing paper with a sticker on them. It's very nicely done. The only thing I will say is that there, there are just like occasional little like rough things with the presentation. Now, I understand you're, these are quite like affordable prices, but like things like the little way the corner is cut uh, there with that little sort of extra jagged bit means that things aren't always completely aligned or um, the, the logos on the front aren't always like, it's very easy to see on the pocket one. Then it's not quite centered within the within the space of uh, the pa the cover. Little details like that for me are. Um, it, it shows two things. Firstly, it shows that uh, the the products are are not sort of huge, huge mass produced. Um, you know where things are done. You know, sort of precision. These are done sort of more um, rustic in a way, and I kind of I kind of like that. Uh, the other thing I will say is that things like uh, the way the wire is cut uh, in the, you know, is a little bit sort of rough. It's, it's got some sharp edges. Um, it's not always even, but it doesn't affect the function of the notepad. And it certainly doesn't, um, you know, sort of get in the way. It's only when the book is open to that end page that you notice those things, um, which is what happened when I did the review here or the first impressions of the pocket size. 
and we have the very you see how uneven they're cut and they are as I said sort of relatively sharp um but as i said these pages are perforated we're going to test that in a second we're going to talk about how the paper performs how fountain pen friendly it actually is because that's a big uh that's a big one uh and um like the a4 version is another thing i just sort of wanted to sort of mention this is something that i noticed in this version more i don't know how visible it is but the perforation actually is between the dots uh so you're not getting so You've got enough space, obviously, but like it's running across the dots here. It's between the dots. So things are kind of like not every page is exactly um, the same. And that's okay. It's uh, it's it's kind of what it is. Also, the other thing is that uh, they were a little bit like dusty in the paper and had some like little marks, like hand marks and things like that, which is once again just shows that these are things used by actual and packaged and produced by actual humans, which is... Uh, also, as I said, it's kind of nice. It's nice to know that. Anyway, that's enough sort of talking about that stuff. Let's talk about how the paper actually performs. So I've written on this with a bunch of things. Standard Bindery's Old Friend Ink. Standard Bindery is an Australian brand that is no longer available, but the ink is beautiful. It's highly concentrated, saturated, wet ink. Um, so I've written with that with it in a Gravitas medium nib. Lamy Blue in a Safari with an extra fine nib, which is what this writing was done with as well. Uh, we've got Noodler's Base State Blue. Nina Jinhao Fine Nib. Now that ink will sort of eat through anything if it's given the chance. Um, Robert Oster Verde de Rio in a Twisby Diamond 580. A Retro Rollable, a Pilot G2 in the Hunter Green. A big ballpoint. I've written highlighted there, but I didn't actually highlight it. So let's quickly do that now. There we go. Uh, a Tombow Mono 2B pencil, which I've gone to erase, and it's left quite a lot. These erases I just do like a couple of very simple passes over just to see you know and um there is a tooth on this paper like just a little bit of texture it's not super super smooth so when you write on it with pencil you do actually properly write into the paper and you do leave a little bit behind I've then written with a sharpie and then three things here this is um a micador watercolor paint uh, i want to put on quite a decent sort of um amount of that just to see how it performs then uh diamine and colt pens ink michael and then montevideo california teal I wanted to see how it sheened in pooling inks. So you can see there, it's got the red copper sheen on Michael that's coming up quite heavy. And then on California 2, we've got the red sheen. The watercolor actually, I think, performed quite nicely. It's sitting on the top of this paper. The paper, while feeling slightly toothy, I think has quite a high, a high, um, high count weave to it. So it's quite, it, it's got good resistance to, um, you know, to allow for things like sheening there. We also see hits of sheen in the writing on the Lamy Blue, which is not known as a super sheening ink and in an extra fine nib, but I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up, but you can actually see it there. So in the right pen, the right nib, this paper will allow for sheening and shade. They said that on the website. I questioned it in the unboxing because I wasn't sure given the experience I had, but as you can see, I think it's doing a really nice job. Let's see how it, the back of this page performs. So you can see where the I put pooling inks down, a little bit has come through. The Sharpie has come through and it's trying to come through occasionally where I've done like these heavier passes with inks. But for the most part, there is ghosting. There's always going to be ghosting with fountain pens. Like it's very rare to find a paper that doesn't ghost. Um, you can see there that actually we actually get a pretty decent performance. Not a lot is actually coming through. And uh, which I really think is, is great. And actually on the front side of that again, nice and up close, you can see there's no feathering either it's held really nicely and uh the highlighter performs well so there's a bit of tooth on the paper so things are going to write on this you're going to get a tiny bit of feedback that uh, lets you know you're writing and i think that's actually pretty great now here's something i didn't hear a few days ago so i'm just going to test this uh perforation um it's a firm perforation and as you can see like it it's not the easiest perforation um to tear uh, so the pages are at least going to be secure, but you end up with like this. And so, um, I'm just going to remove that from my own obsessive compulsive desire for perfection. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's not the easiest sort of paper to, uh, remove the perforation from. So it is, while it is perforated, I think, uh, it's, um, don't, don't rely on it for like really easy, simple removal of the pages. Okay. So. This was the Ayush paper uh, notepad uh, review. So this is the A5 Wiro bound. This is the pocket Wiro bound. Um, all had the same amount of pages, the same quality of paper. And uh, of course the A4 
four Y row bound here with the square corners. Um, once again, with the dot grid. I really like it. Pros for me are the quality of the fountain pen writing. I think it actually, you get good quality performance from this paper. I didn't actually expect it to perform quite as well, um, but I'm really, really glad it does because we actually end up with a paper here that is super affordable at its base price, obviously things like shipping and stuff. And I assume they're gonna expand their availability into other retailers at some point because I think the quality of the paper certainly you know, indicates it should be. I'll link to their website and Instagram and stuff down below. Uh, but I think the quality of this paper and the quality of uh, the binding, the wire binding and all that kind of stuff, I think it deserves a place in the market. Um, I think that the, a couple of little details in terms of like, you know, the, um, the presentation, like some of these like marks and things on things could like be improved. Um, I think that the concept and the design is really nice. I like their logo and I really like what they're doing and I like the fact that it's human. I can't, yeah, I, I enjoy it a lot, but most of all, I really enjoy how the paper performs. So check them out. If you're not familiar, go and check them out. Check out their range of notebooks because I think actually they've got a, these and a few other versions that are really interesting and, and look really great. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. And please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there is a way you would like to support my channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, like Ayush Paper did uh, by providing these notebooks for review, um, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your paper, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.